Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Noni Show TV, former Noni Love 24. Today I am going to show you guys how to prepare Nigerian Igbo bitter leaf soup. Ofe Onubu. Follow my method. So, so here are the ingredients I'm using to make my Ofo Onubu. I got my meat here. I got my dry fish. So you can see. It depends the quantity of soup you are making. And my stock fish here. Here comes my palm nut paste. In case if you are not in Nigeria, you can go to any African shop. You can get it. I have my pepper. It depends the quantity of soup you are making. You can use one or two. I have my crayfish here. I have my cocoa yam. In case you don't have cocoa yam, you can make your bitter leaf soup with a quicker oat. Some use um, we what we called ache. I have my oziza leaf. I like putting oziza leaf on my soup when I'm making my bitter leaf soup. It give it a lot of aroma and taste make it st look uh, test i have my ogiri ibo castor castor paste here so here comes my almighty onubo you cannot prepare onubo soup without this so i have washed it and boiled it so guys join me now in preparing it on my own method if you like my method it suits you. So let's do this together. Thank you. Okay, let's start by putting our cocoa yam on the fire now. So as we are waiting for our cocoa yam, I'm going to wash my meat thoroughly to avoid sand. I love washing my meat with salt. I'm washing my meat. Thoroughly. If you like, you can use um, different types of meat. There is cow leg here, beef, and sour meat. salt on the inside it, it will remove a lot of sound that is at, attached to the meat. That's why it's good to use salt to wash the meat. My meat is washed now. I'm going to spice it to steam it. So I will add my salt. I will I add a little bit of salt in the meat.
adding my cube now. I'm using an um, international cube. All of them, they are the same. I love adding um, black pepper, a little. I love adding white pepper a little into my meat. So, I didn't put onions on my food because in our town we don't use onions to cook bitter leaf soup. So, so I have I soaked my My opolo, opolo. I love to add it to. I soak this for some hours now. As you can see, it's boiling already. Wow, <laughs> yummy! I'm salivating already. So, as you can see, my viewers, my lovely friend, is boiling already. Wow. I can't wait to test it. So, as we are waiting for our meat to boil, we leave it for 10 to 20 minutes to steam. We check on our cocoa yam. As you can see, our cocoyam is boiling. For you to know whether the cocoyam is boiled, is you just press it. Whether it's soft, it's still strong. It's not yet done. Okay. So we leave it to done. Okay. Now we're gonna check our cocoyam. Wow. I think it's ready. I have to pound it now. It's ready. I told you before, if you want to check whether your cocoyam is ready, if it's soft, you know that it's ready. So, I'm going to remove it now. You can pound it with mortar if you have mortar. And you can pound it with, you can grind it or blend it if you have blender. So, I'm using my blender to blend my cocoyam. So, we are... We have to check our meat now. I think our meat is ready already. You see, it's boiling. I can perceive the aroma. Hey, you can't wait. I can't wait to taste this my soup. Oh my God. Kakana po obenga ibo soup. Onubu soup. Look at it. Look at how it is. So let's start preparing our soup now. Everything is done. This is our pan nut. I pour a little bit of hot water inside them, but not paste. So that I will use it to melt melt them oh honestly my viewers i'm enjoying what i'm doing i'm so excited this is my first time of doing cooking on my channel please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so i'll be giving you a lot of things because my channel contains a lot of entertainment, fun, events, making of nails, and also cooking all the delicacies, especially our Nigerian or Igbo delicacies. Okay. I'm pouring the paste inside my soup, as you can see. 
voila you see the reason why um, I miss it with hot water because of this <laughs> if not so I'm going to leave it to boil very well because this is pan oil we need to boil so we are going to cover it and give it just five minutes to boil okay stay tuned don't go anywhere okay i'm gonna check my okay as you can see it has boiled very well so it's time for me to put my dry fish as well mm. <laughs> i like testing my fish when i'm cooking it I'll remove bones. <laughs> I can perceive the aroma now. <laughs> oh my god. We are doing this together, guys. I'm enjoying it, doing it with you people. So, okay. It's time for me to put my Ozeza leaf. I'm putting this Ozeza leaf because you bring us aroma, one kind of aroma that I love. Then it makes it taste good. Some of us don't put Ozeza leaf, but I love using Ozeza leaf to cook my bitter leaf. Then after that, you stay. And leave it for two to three minutes to boil. Okay guys. Wow. <laughs> As if it's done already. So, guys, what I'm going to put next now, after our meat, Uziza leaf, um, uh, our dry fish, Oboroko has done, then I like my bitter leaf soup. I like bitter leaf to go in first. Some are putting, some are putting their own last, but I like my own to go in first. Why? Because in case if there is any bitter still remaining in, inside the leaf it will wash it away they call it bitter leaf soup it's not actually that the soup is bitter but you have to wash your bitter leaf very well without washing it very well it will make the soup too bitter and it will not taste nice So what goes in next is my cocoa I'm putting everything together. Now I have finished putting my cocoa yam and everything goes inside the pot. Before I cover it, I like putting everything as I said before together. I put my ogiri ibo, castor paste. 
I put it different, uh, separate, separate. My my pepper goes in. Then I will leave it for some time to boil and let our cocoa melt. Then I will put crayfish. Why I love to put my crayfish lastly because if you put crayfish, it will make the soup to burn. So I like allowing the cocoa to melt. Then I will put crayfish and leave it for everything to mix together. So wait for me. I'm sure you are salivating seeing this soup. Don't touch the dye. Let's wait for it to mix together. Mmm, yummy. Hey, I wish you guys are here. Now everything has blended together. Everything is mixed together. Now it's time for me to put my crayfish. Crayfish can last when I, whenever I'm preparing bitter leaf soup. I leave it for um, two to three minutes. Crayfish is done. It doesn't waste time. I don't want to turn it because if I turn it, it will make the soup to burn under the pot. So let me leave it to boil a little. Now it's done. Oh my God. Hmm, please, you people should leave a comment. I want to know your thoughts. Just write a comment below. You see how the soup turned out to be. This is my local Onubu soup. How we are doing it in our hometown this is it so i'm going to check the salt the test is good mm. yeah you need a little bit salt but the test is good okay look at how thick it is it it looks thickening <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, guys, we're going to stop here. See you next time on my another episode. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be giving you people low down. I'm going to be sending more videos. And also click on that bell. Whenever I upload a new video, you can be able to see it faster. So thank you guys for being with me. Thank you. At least you people have joined me to prepare this soup. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you all. Mwah.